we have one more animation sample left to discuss and in this video we're talking about something that I call a background animation our uh, sample program is called video 14.7 background animation and uh, what we are going to see here is that uh, let's just bring bring up our background here and go directly to the main program uh, what um, what's different here is that we are adding uh, scenery objects uh, scenery objects which are basically just a random objects uh, in addition to this background so the idea of this animation is uh, that we are going to feed uh, character by character this entire uh, sequence of characters that are coming from something I call scenery objects into uh, into the right hand side of our of our background on every frame so basically what uh, this will make an impression that the camera right so if this is the observer with the camera uh, if we are uh, if we started our animation being stationary we're just basically looking at this background so this time if we start feeding all this information into uh, the um, uh, right hand side of this background and subsequently removing everything on the left hand side this will create uh, an effect of motion right so and this will create an uh, such an effect that if we the observer right so if this is uh, an observer with or or a or a, a viewpoint of this background so so if we're doing this this will create an impression that we'll start moving right so we're going to have moving background and therefore if we have our racing car somewhere here right so if we have the racing car we can basically follow the racing car and the racing car will also be following in this direction and the background will be animated so this is the idea that I'd like to try uh, in this uh, new sample uh, so what does it involve uh, in simply we say okay let's let's add these uh, what I call a variable name is scenery objects which is basically just this you know um, arbitrary um, arbitrary characters um, simulating the the background the road and the background objects that appear there and uh, you can see that some of these backgrounds are pretty long because they require like you know uh, I'd like to 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 run this animation for for uh, some time with additional sounds um, and um, uh, the new um, a member function that I added to our uh, frame animation class is named animate backdrop uh, animate backdrop is super simple okay so it is simply uh, if I try to create the split view so we can see uh, both the implementation uh, and uh, uh, and the function call you can see that there's simply just a backdrop uh, what I call backdrop parts and since our uh, our entire background the backdrop is a list of characters I instantly do the same thing with the backdrop so we sort of like charge the animation uh, with uh, a sequence of all of these characters that we treat as background scenery and we simply split it into a list of individual characters uh, named backdrop parts and then uh, what's also new is that if um, um, basically uh, if we append new frame okay so let me just scroll back up this is a smaller view which is a little more difficult to view uh append frame okay so here it, simply as we see that the backdrop parts uh, uh the length of backdrop parts list uh, 
which is a list of single characters. If it's non-zero, right? So there's some background parts are present. Then what we do here in this code, uh, we basically, we take the current backdrop list and we remove a specific character, which is the initial character. So this is the left-hand side of the backdrop, right? So basically, uh, if we have this... Uh, uh, if we have our backdrop, um, then, so this is just like the road. So this is a, um, just a string uh, split into individual characters, right? So we remove this character over here. So this is what this pop does, right? So it just removes this character. And we append, which basically is the uh, right-hand side, we append the next available uh, the next available character from our backdrop, right? So, so this is where we append a new character. So the net effect of this manipulation is that we shift everything one character uh, to the left, creating this effect of moving background. And uh, since this is a now a consumed character from the from the scenery objects. Now, this means that we are now going to delete it uh, because it's being already consumed and inserted uh, on the right hand side of our backdrop, right? So this is our backdrop. And so this is how it gets animated simply with uh, every new appended frame that we add uh, to our animation. Um, and so we have basically two types of controls here to control this animated um, animation of the backdrop. First of all, which, which scenery objects we add. And the second thing is what speed we use, like frame per second um, uh, rate at which uh, we're going to uh, run this animation. So these are two um, new elements um, in this um, uh, in this new sample that we're going to uh, use in this video. Okay, so. Just one more thing to mention before we run the sample is that we're going to play more sounds uh, alongside with um, with our car animation. And of course, um, uh, this um, list here, which I create as an empty list, um, is the, the new list in support of this backdrop uh, animation. Okay, so let's try running this program now. This is video 